Here with UT Dallas men's basketball head coach Terry Butterfield. The Comets opened the season this week in Tacoma, Washington. Coach, coming off four straight ASC East titles, how are the Comets looking going into game number one? Well, like I think, Dave, like any coach in the country, you know, you're nervous about your group. You, you, you fear the unknown. You don't, you, know, if you, you don't know if you're ready. Have you got everything in? Are all the uh, T's crossed and the I's dotted? So there's definitely some consternation on my part, but it's time to go. You know, we've run out of preseason. We've scrimmaged twice. We are where we are, and, uh, you know, we're, we're very excited to be about uh, getting a chance to go uh, to the great Northwest and have a chance to compete against two really quality ball clubs. After two months, I'm sorry, one month of uh, practice, are they ready to play somebody else besides the Comet? Yeah, I, I think they're sick and beating on each other, and uh, and I think that they're ready to get this show on the road. Of course, me, I'd like to have about four more weeks of uh, preseason, but I don't think they buy into that. So, so I think that they're poised and ready. And uh, you know, at, at this point, I think we're all anxious to see what we got this year. Lost some great players off last year's squad, including Chris uh, Barnes, an All-American for your program. Kyle Schley now is uh, going to step out of that shadow and be uh, a leader for this team, although he was a leading scorer last year along with Barnes. Talk about expectations of Kyle Schley, the ASC East preseason player of the year. Well, I think that uh, uh, Kyle's uh, uh, resume speaks for itself. He, he's a very fine player. We're, we're very glad to have him here, and he's been a tremendous asset to our basketball program. But I think everybody knows that you know, one guy can't get it all done at, uh, on any given day. Uh, he's going to be impactful for sure, but we've got to have other guys really rise up and take their, uh, make their mark on our team. Uh, I think Carter Nash is a very big key for us the, this year at the five spot, you know, figuring out how we're going to solidify the point guard position with a loss of Greg Chase on. I think that's a big deal. I think we've got to find two really quality wings that can shoot it and defend, and we're working on that every day. So a lot of questions, but I think all in all, I think Kyle's got to be our leader at the end of the day, and I think guys got to follow right along and step up and be accounted for just as he does. Coaches always say wins are hard to get. Every win is a win you got to got to fight to get. Uh, four straight division titles. Picked up a lot of wins over those uh, last four years. What does it take for a program to get that constant? One thing, really great kids, really great kids that are really understanding of your approach to the game, who are smart, who are talented, who have great chemistry. Those are all the main ingredients that I know. And, you know, as I get older and older and push further into this career, uh, it just becomes so plainly obvious to me that it's all about the kids, that it's really the quality of the individuals that you have on your team. And we're just very fortunate to have really, really fine kids. Thank you, Coach. Comments open up this weekend in Tacoma, Washington.